Right. So today, what I wanted to do, uh, because now I'm now I'm finally getting into the the I'm getting into the the flow of doing like daily videos now. And as soon as I mention that, I'm probably not gonna upload tomorrow, which is which is how this channel usually works. So yeah, if you're enjoying the daily content, don't get used to it because I I usually don't stick to this. Uh, it's just it's just that I've had a bunch of ideas, and now I'm actually ex I'm actually like expressing them. Because uh, if I do if I do this for too long, I'm I'm gonna get burnt out again. So uh, I want to avoid that. But I do have a lot of ideas for videos to make, so I'm making just a bulk <laughs> load of videos. Um, yesterday's video went well, actually, so that was that was good. But today, what I want to talk about is Marvel's Avengers again. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm just going to turn this channel into a pseudo Marvel event, uh, Marvel's Avengers channel and kind of base a lot of my content around that. Mainly mainly to, to keep people noticing that that game exists. Also to try and build a community around that because obviously I'm going to want a raid team um, when Clone Labs comes out. I'm not going to be talking about Clone, uh, Clone Labs today, but when Clone Labs comes out, I'm going to want a raid team for it, and hopefully the people in the, the people that are watching this have um, have Marvel's Avengers are also on my Discord and can run cloning labs with me when that piece of content comes out. Obviously, that piece of content isn't coming out for a little bit, but when it does come out. I'm going to need some people to run it with because I don't want to run it with randoms because it's never going to get done if I if I run it with randoms. But anyway, what I want to talk about today is top five or just five villains that I want to see or that are likely to appear in Marvel's Avengers. So this isn't character this isn't villains that are already in the game, this is new villains that I want to see, and obviously there's more than five that I want to see, and there's more villains, there's like a hundred, there's like hundreds of villains that could appear in this game. So I, I just wanted to go with the five, with five characters, five villains, that I think A would work for the story, and B aren't really aren't really used elsewhere there's like there's gonna be a few that are from the movies but or, but I wanna keep this to what they've been doing in the game which I've really liked actually is not completely revolving around what's been in the what's been in the films uh, with that being said though number five is Loki uh, number five is Loki because he's already been teased. He technically already exists in the game. I would just love for him to get his own character model and love for there to be a Asgard themed probably raid. A raid would probably be better or an Asgard themed like instance kind of thing where you go into Asgard and you fight, fight a load of... Um, Asgard or Thor themed enemies so that you fight the destroyer you fight um, maybe Fin Fang Foom uh, not Fin Fang Foom maybe uh, Fafnir Fafnir the dragon um, and then you get to you get to Loki at the end or you fight Loki at the start and then you and then you go to Gore the God Butcher at the end but I would love to see Loki get some payoff from that uh, Thor um, from that Thor like iconic mission that he was teased where he goes back to Asgard at the end I would love to see Asgard actually be an explorable world and putting Loki as like the big bad at the end of that just makes sense to me it, it, it it's already set up so why not pay it off um, number four Number four is another Thor villain, 
but it's one that I've been pushing from the start. Um, the Wrecking Crew. The Wrecking Crew feels like it should already be in the game. You go into missions with four Avengers, with four characters. How many members of the Wrecking Crew are there? Four. This isn't a... The dev team has also said that... Has also come out and said that they don't need big patches or big, like, bits of content to come out with a new villain. They can just drop a new villain, like, whenever they want, a new villain sector whenever they want. And they can kind of put a little bit of a story with why that new villain is in there. They could just be like, oh, the Wrecking Crew is causing havoc in the Badlands again. Uh, let's go fight them. Um, and we take the f we take four Avengers, probably Thor being one of them, and probably Hulk being one of them, and we go fight the Wrecking Crew. That's all you need, really. And it doesn't have to be a necessarily, uh, a necessarily like in-depth fight, but tackling four, four targets could be fun. And also we had with cloning labs, we've had a sneak peek of you have to fight four abominations at the end of that. So that could be leading into fighting like boss fights that are a uh, like more of a group encounter. So, the Wrecking Crew seems perfect for that. Number three, we have Ultron. I know, <laughs> I know the thing with this is a lot of people are against the whole big, the whole fighting robots all the time thing. But the thing that I have with this is by the time that Ultron is released, Big robots won't be the prevalent, um, the prevalent main antagonist for this. So we'll have we'll have had a breather from robots, and then Ultron comes along, and there'll be there'll be robots, but there'll be different robots that can do different things, and you'll also be fighting like the Kree, the. Um, the Chitari, the Skrulls, whatever, as Guardians or other, or like Dark Elves and stuff as well. And then Ultron comes along. Ultron himself being a cool character. Um, Hank Pym is in the game, so you can actually do the comic book origin of him. Maybe you don't even have the army of robots, you just have Ultron and you fight Ultron like five times, but each time he's. In, he's like improving upon himself and that's throughout the throughout the Ant-Man DLC you've just got Ultron improving himself over and over and over again throughout that entire story I feel like that's way more interesting than oh I'm a robot that's going to create an army of robots I feel like they'll do that as well but have Ultron be go from like Mark 1 to Mark 2 to Mark 8 to Mark 45 and so on and so forth and have that be have that be just a a cool thing to do uh my number two pick uh will probably happen around the time of captain marvel here's here's my thing here's my thing um so we have iron man captain america thor hulk um, and Hawkeye. That's five. And then we're going to have Spider-Man and Black Panther. That's seven male characters, and and that's compared to Kate, Black Widow, and Miss Marvel. Three female characters. So I have a feeling that after Black Panther, it's going to be Captain Marvel. And who's the perfect villain to have come with Captain Marvel? That's right. Ronan the Accuser. <laughs> Ronan the Accuser. They're setting up this big storyline with the Kree. It brings in a new uh, villain faction of the Kree that aren't just robots. And it's it's going to be cool because you can have new environments. You can go to the Kree warship. Uh, maybe like a different planet kind of thing. Like 
you can fight the Kree Sentry as well. Um, it just, and it can lead to Thanos, which I haven't included on this list, but Thanos would be cool. Uh, I don't, I, I kind of want to leave Thanos for a few years. Like, don't do him, don't do him directly after you've done Ronan the Accuser, but do Ronan the Accuser and then tie, and then lead into Thanos being like the big, big thing. Um, like in your season five, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can have you can have that be uh, you can have that be a whole thing. Like the Kree are coming, so why not have Ronan the Accuser, who's the big daddy Kree, at the end of the Kree event? Um, he doesn't really need to be a character. He doesn't really need a lot of writing behind him. He can just be like how he was in Guardians of the Galaxy, where he's just like big, angry, shouty man. And I feel like that's perfect. And then finally, the last villain that I want to see. Um, I feel like I feel like this is this is like the perfect one. Um, Baron Zemo. <laughs> and why do I say Baron Zemo instead of Red Skull? Because Red Skull is a Captain America villain. He fights Captain America. Baron Zemo. What is Baron Zemo popular from? He's popular from the Avengers Assemble, uh, the Earth's Mightiest Heroes TV series, which is an Avengers TV series. He is synonymous with the Winter Soldier, right? He's going to be in the Falcon and Winter Soldier show. He doesn't need... To, he's not like directly tied to one character he's like his most famous appearance has been fighting other characters it's like fighting the avengers as a team fighting uh fighting frank castle punisher fighting falcon and the winter soldier i think baron zemo i think you can put red skull in as well you can put baron zemo as like a part of like a Hydra variant of cloning labs, which I think would be would be cool to see as well. But I think Baron Zemo is just a it's just a cool character that doesn't get enough love. And I think he works more well in the context of an Avengers game than say Red Skull, who doesn't really have any like links to any other Avenger. So that's my list. Uh, to recap, number five, Loki. Number four, Wrecking Crew. Number three, someone. <laughs> number three was Ultron. Number f number two was Ronan. And number one was Baron Zemo. Uh, some honourable mentions that I'd want to see. Like I said, the Destroyer, Thanos... Uh, eventually, Big Daddy Doctor Doom, Galactus would be amazing to see. Uh, something, just, just you don't need any more Hulk villains. I don't think for any time soon. I, uh, if you introduce Red Hulk as a playable character or as a skin, sure, go for it. But I don't want to fight any more Hulk villains unless it's someone really different from Abomination and Maestro. Like maybe the leader or Zax or someone that's very different from that's not just a big gamma monster again. But I'd like to see others, some of the other characters get their villains put in the game. And obviously Spider-Man coming in, I'd love to see I'd love to see Green Goblin, Doctor Octopus and all that. But I don't I think Spider-Man coming into the game is just gonna be the character dropping. And then you get the end game content coming with him, like cloning labs and stuff. You don't get any like story content with Spider-Man. Because I feel like having exclusive content for for like uh, exclusive character on one console is a bit douchey. If they do do that, that'll be cool. It's something to stream. But also I don't think they will. Because like rights and all that. But that's kind of where I'm going to leave off the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know some villains you want to see in the game. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.